Well, here's a little health care surprise we didn't see coming. We are now just learning about a $1,500 a year charge to everyone's paycheck. It is supposed to guarantee money for a certain kind of coverage as we age. But there is a way to get out of it if perhaps you don't want to spend $1,500 a year. William Lajeunesse is live in Los Angeles with an explanation. Hi, William. Well, Megan, you know when you're young you think you're immortal. When you're old and you realize you're not, by then it's too late. You can't afford those services that keep you at home. Help bathing, eating, or dressing. That's the idea behind this first ever federal program. Now, you can opt out. That's where you save your money. But critics say this is not a federal responsibility and a bureaucratic nightmare. Unfortunately, when we're young and we're working, we never think about getting old. Dolores Gogoff still lives in her own home, but knows many others aren't so lucky. A lot of people give up their homes, their apartments, and move in and pay for a good one, a decent one, four, five, six thousand dollars a month. But most can't afford that, and a new health care provision aims to help by automatically deducting from American paychecks money for long-term care unless you opt out. And this is a really scary proposition where the government passed a, a huge new entitlement program with gimmicks and tricks, and the American people don't know that they're going to be automatically enrolled in this by their employer if they don't watch out. The government expects premiums to average $146 a month. On retirement, enrollees could receive $75 a day in benefits. $75 a day in collectible cash will be enough for most people who need long-term care and who are at home now to stay at home, which is where they want to be. Supporters say this puts the burden of paying for long-term care where it belongs, on each individual. We are convinced that a cash benefit is the best way for consumers to get what they want, where they want it, and when they need it. But opponents say the fine print tells another story. Unless modifications are made, analysts say the program will add to future federal budget deficits in a large and growing fashion. In the early years, there'll be money in it, but at the end of the day, there won't be enough money to cover the, the problem. Now, this deduction, if you will, was supposed to take effect the, uh, in January. It will probably be 2012, Megan. Uh, again, you're automatically in unless you opt out, but I've seen estimates that this could be 240 a month, not 140 a month. But this was very under the radar in this whole healthcare debate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, William Lajeunesse.